Oh boy, looks like it has happened again. So I've actually already done a video on this similar thing happening. And so Michael Moore, if you don't know, and I actually want to give a ton of props and I actually want to give him a ton of credit because the stumping that he has done for Bernie Sanders, as well as the uh, level of support that he's done for Bernie Sanders, he uh, called out Elizabeth Warren, called out Hillary Clinton. And the biggest reason why I'm giving him so much props for this is because his audience is vast majority centrist. And this is going to prove that, of course. Michael Moore has a big centrist audience. And as you guys know, Rashida Tlaib, uh, she booed Hillary Clinton for taking a dump on Bernie Sanders, rightfully so. Shout out to Rashida. And so he sent out a tweet saying, So proud of my longtime friend from Michigan who spoke the truth last night at the Bernie rally in Clive, Iowa. The audience booed Hillary. Then somebody tried to shush them, and Rashida said, Don't shush them. Boo Hillary and anyone else who doesn't speak the truth. So... Uh, it's pretty hilarious because there was a meltdown from Hillary dumbasses um, who were defending Hillary Clinton, acting as if she's some wounded like uh, bird or something like that, as if she didn't take the shots at Bernie and they're the ones responding. Uh, it's really infuriating and makes my blood broil. Uh, makes me really angry. Um, and hopefully we can get two point past this, but we just got to read some of this. This one says, just stop. The last thing we need is more divisiveness in our party. That's why she has already apologized. Hillary is not running, but her supporters are voting. And so the obvious response to this, you fucking idiot, is it's Hillary Clinton who's the one who came out and attacked Bernie Sanders. She's the one being divisive. If she doesn't say anything, then Bernie supporters and surrogates don't have to come out and defend him against her bullshit. All right? She's a public figure. If she attacks somebody... Get fucking ready for a response, you fucking morons. Alright? So, I hate this. This is so infuriating. She's the one who's being divisive, you moron. Um, it's divisive shit like this that gave us real Donald Trump, and now you want to do it again. Congrats. Again, same response. Same fucking response. 65 million voters are insulted by this, and Trump supporters are enabled and incited? Dude, this is so hilarious. 65 million voters. How many of those 65 million voters voted just because the candidate was a Democrat? How many of those candidates voted just because they didn't like the candidate, but they wanted to defeat Donald Trump? How many of those people were there? You think 65 million people wanted to vote for Hillary fucking Clinton, the literal witch who's buddies with Jeffrey Epstein and Harvey Weinstein? Are you, are you serious? You think that? And you think this enables Trump supporters? It enables Trump supporters to go after the candidate who lost to the most disliked politician of all time of all history. That's enabling Trump supporters, really. Actually finding a strategy to win. If anything, the biggest way to win campaigns is to be uh, have Hillary Clinton on the other side. That's literally the best way. Um, because so many people hate Hillary Clinton. Um, I usually agree with you, you're wrong about this. The hatred of Hillary is all about misogyny? What? Misogyny? What does any of this have to do with misogyny? She took a dump on Bernie Sanders and her... And what's hilarious about this is it's Rashida who's saying this. So anytime a WOC speaks out, you know, shut the fuck up. Shut up. Listen to the white woman and say what the white woman says. If a if a, a woman of color comes out and says something that the white woman doesn't agree with, you tell her to shut up and fall in line. Um, that's the privilege of white women. I'm sure this, this fucking lady is probably white too. Uh, telling a, you know, Palestinian woman... Uh, to, to shut up and all this stuff. You are doing more harm than good. We need to unite. Again, dude, this is the problem. Like, who... Why are you not saying this about Hillary Clinton? Not only that, there's no room for criticism of Bernie Sanders. There's no criticizing Bernie Sanders or Rashida or any of these people here. Because they're the ones responding. It's not their source comment. They're responding to a comment from Hillary Clinton, which is the comment that is spurring the divisiveness, and the lack of unity. All right? So you should be going after Hillary Clinton. Come on, man. Hillary Hillary does speak the truth. She was right about everything about Trump. Dude, she lost to Donald Trump. Bernie was wrong? What does that even mean, Bernie was wrong? And this has... Dude, these tweets have a shocking number of favorites. Very, very unfortunate. Um, this is a true tweet. You've always been an excellent judge of character. And it's a picture of him with Julian Assange. Are you fucking kidding me? That's what you think? This is so hilarious. A, this is hilarious because why would Julian Assange... Like, I know Julian, the post-2016 Julian Assange was kind of an idiot. I know, I'm aware. 
but Julian Assange has done a lot of good stuff, all right? And But the, the second part of that is, do you have any idea? You know what we should do? We should just start responding to everything about Hillary Clinton, not saying anything. We should just respond with pictures of her with horrible people who she was close friends with. Harvey, just post pictures of her with Harvey Weinstein. Post pictures of her with Jeffrey Epstein. Like, just, they might as well, dude, at this point. I mean, are you kidding me? You know how stupid this is that people are posting this unironically? I mean, oh my goodness, this is terrible. Because pissing off everyone who liked Clint such a part... Again, he's responding to these people. I mean, and so look, I'm not even going to read any more of these just because, like... And you see these idiots resist, and she's obviously, like, 56 years old. Um, and, and, you know, barely knows how to use technology. And this has resists in her Twitter fucking thing. These people are the worst people on the planet. They're worse than MAGA people, all right? They're worse than MAGA people. Um, and so it's just... It's incredibly unfortunate. But this, this is just filled with responses like this. So... I gotta tell you, man, this is incredibly frustrating.